Apple's vision for the iPad has always teetered between tablet convenience and desktop power. With the upcoming release of iPadOS 19, that balance may finally shift toward a more computer-like experience. At Technology Review, we've dissected the details and emerging leaks around this major update to bring you the full picture. And yes, it might just transform your iPad into something that feels remarkably like a MacBook. Let's not confuse this shift with turning iPads into actual MacBooks. Apple is still separating the experiences, but what we're looking at now is the clearest sign yet that Apple wants your iPad to work as hard as your MacBook can. And it's about time. The hardware has been ready, the software hasn't. We're now seeing iPads equipped with seriously capable chipsets. The iPad Pro just got an M4 chip, the iPad Air sports the M2, and even the mini lineup is powered by the A17 Pro. These chips are the same silicon found in Apple's latest MacBooks, delivering laptop-level performance. Yet, for years, the software hasn't kept up iPad OS, though separate from iOS, has often felt like a slightly stretched out iPhone interface rather than a desktop contender. That's finally changing. Apple is reportedly giving iPad OS 19 a substantial, productivity focused makeover. That means the experience on iPad could become significantly more capable, especially for people using the device as their main computer. Let's explore what this actually means. Real productivity is the focus. Mark Gurman from Bloomberg has hinted that Apple's priority for iPadOS 19 is productivity. This doesn't just mean minor tweaks. It means aligning the iPad experience closer to Mac-level workflows. With powerful M-series chips inside, it's not only logical, it's overdue. The idea is to make more Mac-class apps run seamlessly on iPad. Whether this involves direct ports of Mac apps or universal versions that adapt across Mac OS and iPad OS, the results should be more professional-grade software running smoothly on iPad. Think Logic Pro and Final Cut Pro, but on a broader scale. Think full versions of Xcode, maybe even full Adobe Tools or Pro Tier dev environments, not just mobile versions. If Apple plays this right, iPad OS 19 will stop feeling like a beefed up iPhone and finally step into its own as a flexible, professional platform. Multitasking might finally make sense. Multitasking on iPad has been, let's call it unintuitive. Between slide over, split view, stage manager, and whatever other system Apple tried to bolt on, the experience often ended up feeling more like a workaround than a feature. But that could soon change. German suggests that multitasking will receive a much-needed overhaul. We're talking about a more Mac-like system of managing Windows and apps, possibly even overlapping Windows on the iPad home screen or enhanced window snapping tools. Rather than juggling hidden app panels or trying to guess how Stage Manager wants to behave, users might finally get a multitasking experience that just works. This could mean dragging apps into place, rearranging layouts intuitively, and having multiple desktops to separate workspaces. It's something that Mac users take for granted, but it's exactly what Power iPad users have been craving. Stage Manager 2.0, a real upgrade. Stage Manager, which debuted with iPadOS 16, was supposed to be the feature that bridged iPad and Mac experiences. But in practice, it was clunky, limited, and frustrating to use. You couldn't resize windows freely, app groupings were inflexible, and it often just felt like a gimmick. With iPadOS 19, we could be looking at what amounts to Stage Manager 2.0, a fully rethought, more stable, and more flexible version of the feature. If Apple nails this update, Stage Manager might finally live up to its original promise, giving users real windowed multitasking with desktop class freedom. The goal is to make switching between tasks faster, managing app groups easier, and improving workflow efficiency overall. And perhaps most importantly, this version could actually be pleasant to use. A touch of Mac in iPadOS. Here's where things start to get really interesting. When you connect a magic keyboard or another compatible accessory, iPadOS 19 might start behaving much more like Mac OS. This includes a persistent dock at the bottom, potential for a file menu-like interface, 
and expanded support for mouse and trackpad gestures. The iPad already supports right-click, multiple windows, and keyboard shortcuts, but this version could blur the line further. According to some leakers, Apple is testing a new kind of hybrid mode that activates when an iPad detects a keyboard plus trackpad combo. It's unclear whether this will be a completely new UI or just refinements to Stage Manager and the dock. But either way, it's a huge signal. Apple wants her iPad to feel more like a Mac when you want it to, but it will still retain the portability and simplicity of a tablet when you don't. That's an impressive balancing act, and it shows Apple's long-term plan. The iPad as a dynamic, mode-shifting device. Device compatibility and what to expect. Let's talk support. Based on patterns and hardware power, iPadOS 19 will likely support a wide range of newer iPads, but may leave some older ones behind. Here's what seems likely to be compatible. iPad Pro with M1, M2, or M4. iPad Air with M1 or M2. iPad Mini with a 17 Pro. Base iPads with a 16 or newer. On the chopping block, Devices like the iPad Pro with A12X or A12Z and older iPad minis, and notably the 10th generation iPad, recently retired, might also be left out. Apple typically releases the first developer beta right after WWDC, which in this case will be June 9th, 2025. But take it from us, those early betas are buggy and not suited for your daily device. A safer bet is to wait for the public beta which might arrive by late June or July. As always, the final stable version of iPadOS 19 will most likely launch in September alongside the new iPhones. Will this end the iPad is just a big iPhone narrative? We think so. iPadOS 19 could mark a turning point in how the iPad is perceived and used. Instead of being seen as an oversized iPhone, the iPad might finally mature into its own category something that's uniquely positioned between tablet, laptop, and desktop. With the raw power of M-series chips and the flexibility of an improved operating system, there's no technical reason why the iPad can't match the productivity of a MacBook. It all comes down to software, and Apple finally seems ready to deliver.